Alrighty guys, what is going on? Back with another video here. Uh, NXT War Games. We're gonna this is, we're gonna say about the results and review about it. It was a um, overall a great show. Survivor Series need to live up to its hype because NXT War Games was super awesome. So let's dive into the show. To the first match, Cash Sono versus Lars Sullivan. The least match I was expecting. And turned out to be a, a solid match. Uh, it was okay. And those elbows for Cash Sono gives is so sick. I love that elbows. But at the end, okay, Lars Sullivan wins with this side slam sort of. So Lars Sullivan wins. Yeah, he wins. So I got one, one point for my predictions. So on to the next match. Oh boy. This is my favorite match between the war games and this I think this I love this match even better and that is Velveteen Dream versus Aleister Black it, it was awesome I love this match this is so good man uh, that one moment when Velveteen Dream Patrick Clark uh, man I love Patrick Clark when he sits like uh, Aleister Black and Aleister Black ties the Velveteen Dream's pose, like lying down. Oh, well, that was so awesome. And the crowd was so hot for this match. They were chanting lots so of weird stuff like Kiss. And even chant Velveteen Dream. He, at the end, uh, Aleister Black won the match with, a, with his black mask. Yeah, but it's a very awesome match. I loved it. Uh, probably match of the night if, if, you don't, if you don't count the War Games match. Okay, and at the end of the match, Alistair Black takes the mic and sits uh, besides uh, Velveteen Dream and, sa and say his name for the first time because uh, Velveteen Dream wanted to say his name by Alistair Black, but finally he said it. So, yeah, he said it. So, Velveteen Dream is a star, man. He's a star. So, good match, good match. Okay. And to the next bout, and it's for the uh, wait, oh wait, 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 oh yeah, it's for the vacant NXT Women's Championship. Uh, it's uh, between Ember Moon, uh, Kyrie Sane, Nikki Cross, and Peyton Royce in a fail for a match. And oh yeah, oh my God, I forgot to tell you, uh, I lost that prediction. About Alistair Black losing to Velveteen Dream. So I'm 1-1 one and one right now. But can we win this prediction? Okay, I am 1-1 one and one right now. And let, let's talk about this Women's Championship match. Uh, it's a pretty chaotic match, <laughs> to be honest with you. But not chaotic with the War Games. The War Games match, I will talk about it in a when I... Stop talking about this woman's championship match. It's a pretty chaotic woman's fatal four way. Uh, Kyrie Saints, Kyrie Saints elbow, and my favorite elbow drops are Kyrie Saints elbow, and uh, yeah, Velveteen Dream's purple rainmaker. Not the rainmaker from Okada's rainmaker, but the rainmaker from the elbow drop. Those two elbow drops are my favorite elbow drops in this wrestling business. So. Yeah, it's a very good match, and finally, Ember Moon won the title. Ember Moon won it. Sorry about that. My, my, my PC is running wild right now. And Ember Moon finally won the match. Uh, I think he, she, uh, she did a, uh, the eclipse on Peyton Royce, pinning Peyton Royce. I think, yeah. Ember Moon was a good call. Ember Moon did it. She won the title for the first time. Even They even... I think Asuka, yeah, Asuka came to the ring and presented the belt to Amber Moon. They hugged and they celebrated. So, Amber Moon is your NXT Women's Champion in a pretty uh, okay, good match. Good match. Nardi Cien Almas versus Drew McIntyre for the NXT World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna say World Heavyweight because that's NXT. I love NXT, and pretty okay. 
pretty okay match. Uh, not an okay match, but but a good match. God damn it, I gotta cut that out. I gotta cut that out. And on to the next bout. It's for the NXT World Heavyweight Championship between Drew McIntyre and Andrade Cien Almas uh, with Selena Vega, Tia Trinidad. Love you, Carla. And this was a shocker, man. It was a good match. This was a good match. Every match was a good match. Every NXT takeovers, they only, they always have a good match or okay match. They don't disappoint you. So let me tell. This was the shocker. First, uh, Andrade Cianlamas hits the hammerlock DDT on Drew. He kicks out, and Drew McIntyre goes for the future shock, and he Andrade kicks out, and he's one And Drew McIntyre goes for the Claymore sick kick, and he misses, and hits the turnbuckle. His balls. Hills, grapefruits hit the turnbuckle, and Andrade cradles him and hits him with a DDT. One, two, three. Andrade is the new NXT champion. God dang, I was so shocked. I was, god dang, I lost that prediction too, because I was aiming for Drew to win, but and it, but Triple H shocked me. So your new NXT. Champion Andrade Cien Almas. He was freaking out. Zelina Vega like jumped into the ring and celebrates. And Andrade Cien Almas was shocked. He have he has won the championship. He was so happy. His happy was priceless. Almas runs up to the ramp and stands up to the announcement table and celebrates with the title. And they go to the camera. Go goes back. To Drew McIntyre, wait, Drew McIntyre, and uh, they show him like he's lost everything. Yeah, good. Like the camera was excellent. This little bit of touch, and that's okay. But the shocking, wait, my computer is going crazy right now. The huge shocker is Andrade is the new. NXT World Heavyweight Champion after all after months and months of losing Even worse even worse than Ty Dillinger Ty Dillinger even won the damn title one time didn't even win won it once But Andrade kept on going and he won the match Yeah, awesome awesome And on to the next match the main event of NXT TakeOver War Games the main event, yeah, and that is the War Games match between the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, Bebe, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish team up against, I mean, versus Sanity, Eric Young, uh, Thing Anderson Wolf, I think, Anderson Wolf, Anderson Wolf, uh, I think he's Anderson Wolf, I think, and and Killian Dane and the other team with Arthur Sapain and Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong was wearing this Arthur Sapain green shirt. He was rocking on it, man. Roddy, Roddy, you're awesome, man. And this was uh, like like the other like the older guys build up about it. It was uh, dangerous, chaotic, even chaotic than the the Fatal Four Way. More chaos. More destruction, broken bodies. This was an oh god, dang it, man. I'll, uh, if the Valentine Dream versus Alistair Black didn't even happen, this would be my m favorite match of the night. But Valentine Dream Alistair Black was another one level. But still good though, still a good match. At the end, oh didn't didn't even talk about it. Killian Dame, this guy was star of the start of this match he star star start of the match he was the crowd was all the support has the support on him he was taking tables the crowd was ape went ape shit he was taking garbage cans and kendo sticks he did a goddamn Shane McMahon's coast to coast and the crowd went ballistic for that and the 
there was a table spot as usual but between I think Anderson Wolf I can't believe is it somebody put in the comment is his name is Anderson Wolf Anderson Wolf and Acom I think one of the authors of did a German suplex to the two tables inside and Roger Strong and I think uh, it's Adam Cole yeah Adam Cole did, did a Everest Mountain superplex uh, up the cage to through inside good, good God everybody was there to catch them catch both of them it might be serious so and uh, I was thought that Roger Strong gonna turn on the Otis of Pain join the Undisputed Era but no uh, Adam Cole finally hits his shining wizard with the chair to Eric Young uh, and wins the match so and the Undisputed Era wins the first ever WWE's version of War Games match good match good match but my match of the night is definitely Velveteen Dream and Alistair Black I can't I might be a old record saying the same time but I really loved it love the match so overall it's a very good pay-per-view or a uh, good pay-per-view uh, but these are my as the saw on the no mercy review video my grading system is the dollar sign and not the dollar sign the amount of currency the higher they go the great the pay-per-views are first option is 69.99 which is awesome pay-per-view 39.99 which is a good good uh good solid pay-per-view and 9.99 is like meh that kind of pay-per-view and 99 cent means it is worst worst pay-per-view ever so i'm gonna my grade is drum roll please My grade is 69.99. Yes, this was an awesome pay-per-view. Great, great pay-per-view. You can close your eyes and give the, you give your money to NXT, and they will put on a good show for you. And they did it. They did it. That was a good, awesome pay-per-view. Survive Series need to live up their hype with their matches, with their bragging rights, sort of shit. But the this time I love the this NXT show. The pro, I'm gonna tell the pros and cons. The pros are the War Games match, the Fatal Four Way Women's match, uh, the huge shocker Andrade winning the NXT Championship, and the match of the night Velveteen Dream and Alistair Black. These four things. And the cons were only just one, and that's Cassius Hono versus Lars Sullivan. Uh, uh, because this is the least match I was expecting, but but it's not a bad match though. But I just didn't care about this match. Uh, I was just watching Cashone doing the elbows, and f and that is it. And that's the con, <coughs> only con for this pay per view. That's why I gave it 69.99. If you had time, go watch it again. I'm gonna watch the NXT Takeover again. On the WWE Network. Yeah. So yeah. That is it guys. That is it for this video. Uh, and tomorrow I think I'm going to do Survivor Series 2. Hope the paper will live, live, live it to its hype. Or might be suck. But yeah. I'm going to do a review on it. So that is it guys. Like. Dislike. Share. Subscribe. Shh. Oh,